Hey everyone, so today I have got finally my Walt Disney World haul 2017 from my trip this year. This is my third one of these videos. Every one that I make I think, ah oh, the next trip's going to be like a smaller haul. Never really is, so you guys know how it is with these videos. Go grab a drink, get a snack, it's probably going to be a long one and I hope you enjoy. So I'm not going to do this in any particular order, I'm just going to pick up um, you know, bags and see what's in them. I am going to do a separate video though on my pin haul because I get majorly, majorly into pins on this holiday um, and yeah, I spent a stupid amount of money on them. Um, so I'm going to do a separate pin haul video so that will be coming soon. Um, so that will be separate for anyone that's really into pins and is watching this for pins. Separate video. Um, but yeah, just going to get started. You guys know I cannot resist a stitch and I said I wasn't getting any stuffed toys this holiday. I was like, no, I'm not doing it. Then I saw this little guy and I really, really liked him and I, st I was going to be good. I wasn't going to get another one. And then I was walking through um, the store that's where the Beauty and the Beast show is, um, you know, that comes out onto the corner. You know the shop that I mean in Hollywood Studios. And he jumped out and fell off the shelf right in front of me just where I was about to step and I just thought, he's he's meant to be and he's a little one so it's fine. He's adorable and he's like little proper alien stitch with his his four arms and his antenna and he's just adorable and he was 16 95 obviously as with all American prices the prices that are on things are pre-tax so you always want to add on a little bit for tax so yeah but $17 pre-tax. I've already got the stitch version of this so when I saw the angel I couldn't resist and it's like the little baby one that comes in the blanket. I just, oh, I think she is so, so adorable. I just love her. And she was, oh, she doesn't have a price. So as guys. Deliberately kept the tags on things to try and tell you guys prices, but I can't see a price anywhere. Sorry about that. That is my angel baby and she is adorable. The next thing that's come out of one of the bags is this, which is the Jin Ursel figure, she was $26.95 pre-tax. Um, I've actually got the Ray version of from the same like range of figures and I love Ray and then I love I love Felicity Jones anyway. I'm a huge fan of her as an actress. And um, so I was really excited when she entered the Star Wars franchise. And yeah, so I got this little figure of her as Jin Erso. This little bag here's got stationery in it. So I got three notebooks from the same kind of range. And is this range here. So I'd seen these on YouTube in other people's hauls prior to going and I knew that I wanted them. But I was actually only able to get one of them when I was waiting and my friends were going away um, like a month or two after we were and they picked up the other two for me because they must have just been so popular they were out of stock. So thank you very much to Kim and Lucy if they are watching. I'm so excited that I have all three of these. They are like the VHSs. This one is Lanking one so it's like if you had like VHSs in the early 90s it's like the colour of that, the cover of that. Then in the back it's got like a little sort of blurb as though it's telling you what the film's about. These were all $14.99 pre-tax and then like the first page is like the VHS tape and then the back page is like the back of the tape. It's just like so nostalgic. I totally, totally love it. And then that's what the pages inside are like. So the Lanking one's got Timon and it's lined pages and then, you know, the back of the pages are squares. And then we've got the Beauty and the Beast one, of course. Um, I could not have the Beauty and the Beast one, obviously. It's like the VHS. It's got like the summary in the back and it's even got like the pictures and stuff videotape and then the pages are the same but Beauty and the Beast one has Lumiere on the line pages. I'm never going to write in these notebooks. They were just so lovely I had to have them. And the last one is Aladdin, your blurb on the back page, your videotape and then you've got a boo on the line pages. So I got three of them with some help from my friends. And then I also got this little set of notebooks. Um, this was $10 again plus tax. And these are all like 2017 Disney Parks notebooks. First one has Saucer Mickey and it says Walt Disney World 2017 in Roman numerals. And at the bottom it says see what a little magic can do. 
and then it's like a star print in the back lined pages and it says 2017 on them i got this one which i think is just super beautiful it says walt disney world 2017 again lined pages um and it's got the park icons got the epcot ball cinderella's castle got the tower of terror so like the new hollywood studios icon um, and then the Tree of Life and then on the back it's got like the saucer Mickey hat it says Walt Disney World and I thought that was very very cute and then the last one says Magic 2017 and then on the back Walt Disney World 2017 and the inside of the pages and that one have the hat and then this like little Mickey head. Again, I'll probably never write in any of them, but I just thought they were lovely. I got a towel. I think I actually got this in the Disney store. Can't remember, but it's just a big stitch towel. It's got, and I always get these beach towels when we go away because they're actually so good for coming out of the shower because they dry so quickly. So this is what we tend to end up using at home. I have got my resort mug as always. We were in Caribbean Beach this time which was really nice but it is a much bigger resort so the first time we went we were in Port Orleans French Quarter and um, which I loved. That so far I think that's my favourite of the three that I've stayed in. Um, I would definitely, definitely go back there. And the second time we were in Animal Kingdom Lodge and I think that's where I'm actually going with my parents the next time that I go. And I think they're quite keen for Animal Kingdom Lodge so I think we're going to be staying there again. Um, although to be totally honest, like having stayed there once, I'm kind of like, oh well I've ticked it, like I wouldn't rush back to it but I think they want to stay there. But yeah, in terms of the moderate resorts, I, I Port Orleans French Quarter was the dream and it was quite small so there was only one set of bus stops you never really waited too long on a bus the journeys from there to each of the parks like nothing was too bad I was I just really loved um French Quarter so I think that's still still my fave but Caribbean Beach was fun I got the obligatory Minnie Mouse head pen I also got a Donald Duck pen and I've got two t-shirts when we were there it was the ending of Wishes and the start of Happily Ever After. Happily Ever After was amazing. I absolutely loved it. I loved Wishes and I was really nervous, but I did actually love Happily Ever After. So I got the Happily Ever After t-shirt. I was going to get one of the Wishes ones, but I just didn't like it that much. The t-shirts that they had for the annual pass holders to celebrate Wishes ending was lovely, but I'm not an annual pass holder sadly. Happily ever after Magic Kingdom and then the Magic Kingdom opened on October 1st 1971. October 1st 2016 to October 1st 2017 was the 45th anniversary of that. I got a little t-shirt to commemorate that we were there in its 45th year. I really like things like that and I like things that have like the year you were there on. I'm really sorry this is so scrunched up it's just been in this bag waiting to be filmed since we came back our holiday. Um, but I thought that was absolutely adorable. I really really liked um, this design they had for the 45th anniversary. I was a big fan of it. We were there over May the 4th on Star Wars like weekend but they weren't really doing Star Wars weekend at the park but it was Star Wars weekend we all know it so I felt like we really had to acknowledge that that was like a very Star Wars heavy trip um, and we got these BB-8 cups which they actually are actually hold like quite a surprising amount it was a really substantial drink that you got out of it I love BB-8 so definitely had to have that as soon as I saw it and Scott got one of these as well these were more of a practical purchase because my feet had swollen up and they were really sore but I did a bit of a daft thing so I wanted like a UK4 and I forgot that sizes are different in America and I think a UK4 is like a US7 and I bought these in a US for and then I was like why are these so small this is really strange yeah because they're, they're like three sizes too small for me but because flip flops are kind of oversized I could just about get away with it and they did for like walking up to refill our mugs at the resort and everything every night some flip flops but more of a cautionary tale that if you need to buy shoes in America remember that you're not buying a UK size I obviously just had not switched my brain on at that point. One of my favourite things that I bought while we were away, this, so it is a big photo frame. This is actually the first time I've opened it since we're coming back. So I'm really hoping it made it back in one piece. I'm sure it will have because they're actually really good at making sure things are like styrofoam wrapped and everything like that. So I've got this out and it is in one piece and it is a photo frame but I think you could literally just keep it exactly as it is so it is like one of the windows on Main Street if you guys can see that um, and it's the railroad office so it says Walt Disney World railroad office um, keeping dreams on track 
uh, Walter E. Disney, Chief Engineer. I just love that. Um, so I had to have that and it was, it was actually £27.99 so it wasn't that expensive again. So $28 pre-tax um, but I do think it is absolutely beautiful and I don't know if I'm even going to bother putting a picture in it. I think I might literally just put it up as it is. I also bought some new ears while we were away and it's these ones here. They actually, you probably cannot get the effect, <laughs> no you definitely can't tell. Um, but they do light up and flash so when it's dark in the park at night um, it was really cool. They are Star Wars ears. Can you see them? I love them a lot. So I had to have them when I saw them obviously. I actually bought a Star Wars ring that I thought was in one of these bags but now I can't find it so if I find it I'll insert um, a cutaway of it but it's just like a silver ring and it says may the force be with you. Um, and I really liked it and I'm now like, where has that gone? I'm hoping it's maybe just fallen out of my suitcase and I've not had uh, any reason to look in my suitcase since coming back so might have to go investigate that, slightly worried. But I got a Star Wars jumper. This haul's actually not too bad, this is genuinely us coming to the end only probably because I've separated out the pinned video. The pinned video is going to be like an hour long but I'm sure this still hasn't been that short. But I got this jumper so it's like a kind of baseball style with you know the contrasting sleeves and neck and then it says Star Wars on it and then it's like a comic strip um, kind of illustration. Plain at the back um, and that was uh, 49 so $50 pre-tax. I also got this Star Wars jumper with my girl on it. You all know I love Rey so much, I think she's absolutely awesome. Um, so I got her. It's also got BB-8 on it but you know mainly Rey, she's my fave. It says Star Wars The Force Awakens on the back. Had to have that one because it had Rey on it. Oh do you know why I think I put this on because it was cold one night when we were out so I think I've just taken the tags off. So as guys, no idea how much that one was. No. Oh there's my ring! It was inside a t-shirt, it's okay! So this is the ring. So it looks like that. And it spins around and it says may the force be with you. So pleased I found that, I was like, where's my ring gone? Um, but Scott and I both bought the rings, because <laughs> we're that couple. Um, and then we also both got this t-shirt but he got the green version that had Finn, um, I think this has got Finn and Ray on it. Um, and mine's just has Ray on it. So I got the blue one, I think this was technically the women's one, the green one was the men's one but I'm sure it's not like that big of a deal. Um, and again, it's got my girl on it. And then it says Star Wars The Last Jedi. So yeah, I've got Ray from two different films on two different items of clothing. So this was $29.99 but this was like a charity t-shirt so the Star Wars Force for Change which was collaborating with UNICEF Kid Power, 25% of the retail price of this product, the t-shirt, will be donated to US Fund for UNICEF in support for UNICEF Kid Power. So I, th I think this literally is I'm going to show you one other thing that I actually got as a gift but it's from Walt Disney World but the last thing I'm going to show you that I paid for is this baseball t-shirt which I just loved so it's grey with the navy basically basically a switch of the the one that I've got on that's navy with grey. It says the original Walt Disney World established name and it's got the castle and like the original Mickey Mouse on it. That was $34.99, so $35. So I lied, that wasn't the last things that I bought that I went to show you. I actually thought I'd finished filming this video and went to take the battery out of my camera and saw these on my bed because these have been there and I forgot that they needed filmed because everything else was in bags all together waiting to be filmed. So I got these two. I just couldn't resist. They're just so cute and I love them so much and these were $17 each as well without tax and I just absolutely love them and they're tiny so they don't really count as like extra clutter or anything like that. They are just super adorable. If you want to save money go off site because this guy who is significantly bigger just to compare. I actually got him at the Disney store in the Florida mall and he was $19.95 so he was $20 and um, and he's much much bigger and I think he was actually I think there was like an offer on where he was like $15 or something like that I think there was actually money off of him so he actually was like super cheap 
um, just because he wasn't from actual Walt Disney World because he was from the Disney store so something to bear in mind if you're trying to go on a budget that the Disney store super cute merchandise but for less money and then I got these as gifts so my friends Kim and Lucy as I said they went and not that long after me because they picked up the notebooks for me but they also brought me back this which I just absolutely love so it's Steamboat Willie I didn't see this when we went away because I'm sure I would have bought it and it's one of the mugs that's got like the thing that keeps your tea warm on top um, and then it just says Steamboat Willie in the back now I can use it because I filmed it and they got me this super cute little treasure cat thing and I know you can put these in your phone but mine doesn't have space for it so I'm going to just use it as a key ring which I just love, I love Alice in Wonderland and Kim and I went to uni together and for her like fourth year project she did an Alice in Wonderland thing and I did like the marketing for it and it was fun and it was a really really good piece of the Acer so I feel like that's like a little memory that you know we worked together on that. They also brought me this enchanted rose pin which I adore so I'll show you that again in my pin haul video but sneak pin for you there. That is everything that I'm going to show you in this video so I don't think that was as long as they've been in the past. The merchandise doesn't change that much so I will link up my last two Disney hauls at the end of this one in case anyone is going soon and wants to see them. I hope you've enjoyed watching this if you're going to Disney World soon have the best time. It's kind of impossible not to but have the best time ever. I'm really sorry if anybody missed the memo I did put it on my Instagram and cried about it publicly for a long time. My computer hard drive crashed not that long after we came back and I lost all my photos <laughs> from that holiday which I'm really gutted about and it literally crashed like two days after our photo pass um, had expired so anything that I hadn't downloaded to my phone that we had on the computer we lost, we lost everything. Um, but I also lost all my vlog footage so there's not going to be any vlogs from this trip coming. Um, I'm really sorry about that but I will be vlogging Disneyland Paris in February so do stick around for that. If you like non-Disney content I am uploading a video every single day for the month of November so do check back. My, cat, my channel is going to be quite busy for the next month. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you soon. Bye! And just as an aside before I actually go because I know I'll get questions on it. This is the Alison Liquid Lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Just in case you're interested, I will be doing a Florida Sephora haul as well. Um, and most of that's Sephora that was at the Disney Springs that I purchased from. So if you're interested in that, do stay tuned. That will be coming before the end of November. As will my pin haul. But I'm actually away now. Bye.